In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to take a look at the Adjustment Selection Mask. It acts a bit like the brush mask to create part of an image that you can edit independent of the rest of the photograph, but it acts a little bit differently as well and we'll show and contrast it with that tool. So to get there we go to our Regional Adjustment Tools when we're on the Adjustment button in the upper part of our screen and I'm going to click on the third button from the right. It pops up a mask area here that shows me my mask and then some of the tools that we can apply to the area that we mask. Like the brush mask, we can have up to five masks active at the same time. And we're going to apply this to the same photograph we used in that tutorial. So the first thing I want to do is focus on this young woman's face because we have it a little bit washed out in the photograph and we're going to change that. So I'm going to click on uh, my mask area over here. I don't have to click on new because when it starts out it will automatically create a mask. I need to turn off my zoom tool and now I see the icon. I can either scroll up or down to make it larger or smaller, the area I'll be masking, or I can use the slider right next to that feature under the word brush or eraser. The default is to add the mask. That's why I see the plus sign. And you notice it's intelligent. It always tries to find like shaded areas. And if I hold the Alt key down, that will subtract from the mask. If I, if I don't hold it down, it will add. The alternate I can do is I can click on Eraser. Now this will subtract from the mask. Or now if I hit the Alt key down, it will add to the mask. So let's try to take off the area around her, her chin. And we're going to notice a, a little challenge with the mask. It's very hard to get it super precise in every case. And oftentimes you'll have to zoom in to get it exactly the way you want. But that's not too bad. Now let's assume I want to use the mask, but I want to make sure I don't apply it to the eyes or mouth. I'll zoom in even more and I'll, I'll make sure I'm on the eraser part of it. Make sure I have my magnifying glass turned off. I can make it smaller if I want to by using the scroll wheel on my mouse. And we'll just work this out a little bit. And again, I use the Alt key to go from positive to negative, add or subtract. We'll do the same thing with her eyes. And again, if I were doing this for real, I would probably be magnified and I would be a little bit more careful here. But this gives you an idea of, of what you can do. So there we have her masked and we can do the same thing we did when we were using the other mask. We can modify that area only. So I'm going to zoom back out a bit. Let's see, 25%. Okay. Oops, need to take some of that away here. And we'll focus on this part. And the mask is still active, so let's do something. We'll, we're going to take the vibrance and turn it up on her face a little bit. And we might want to change, let's see what we can do with the lightness here. Maybe a little more orange. I want too much. Skin tones are the hardest thing I find to modify when it comes to any kind of image. Uh, under detail, what have I got? Oh, sharpness. Let's sharpen it just a little bit there. Sharpen it up just a little bit. Okay. So let's look at the before and after. And there's what we see. You can use other tools on skin in particular that may give you more of what you're looking for, but this shows you some ways in which you can use the mask. Again, you can use multiple masks. So I've moved the picture slightly. Let's try to draw a stripe down her shoulder as we did when we were, we were using the first mask. I'm going to click the down arrow and we'll do new. And now we'll see what happens when we try to draw. It's always trying to select the same color. And even if I hold the Alt key down and try to subtract from it, I can to a degree, but it really is a lot harder to get the kind of precision that I wanted 
when I was using the other mask. So if you want this kind of precision, uh, this isn't the mask for that. But if you want to be able to select something, thing that's a similar color all the way around very quickly, let's do her arm for example. It does a very good job of identifying edges and it isn't too difficult to get a lot of masking done in a very little time using this particular tool because it's pretty intelligent. So that gives you a way in which you can apply masks up to five of them using this tool to modify parts of your photograph and leave the rest of it untouched.